Hey everyone, Terry here. What I want to do right now is I want to entertain a little bit more about filtration using the idea of tagging. But what would happen if I said you could not use a route map to be able to apply a tag? Now that's exactly what we want to look at and it's going to outline a feature called enhanced route tagging operations in the confines of EIGRP. Now, Specifically, it's going to be applied to EIGRP named mode operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into R19, 20, and 21, and I'm going to remove my EIGRP 10 autonomous system from it, and I'm going to configure it from classical mode to this idea or this notion of named mode. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get that done. All right, so first and foremost, like I said, I'm going to go to R21, R19, Let's see here, and I am going to say no router EIGRP 10. I'm going to do that on 20 and 21. No router EIGRP 10. Okay, it says it doesn't exist. That's good. No router EIGRP 10. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure named mode for these devices. So it's going to be router EIGRP named. Now I'm just using the name named arbitrarily just so that I don't have to remember different ones on different devices. And then I'm going to do to my address family IPv4. Now notice it's going to tell me it's an incomplete command. It's an incomplete command because I want to or I'm going to need to define the autonomous system. So let's say autonomous system 10 because we want to be in keeping with the rest of our environment. And now what I need to do is I'm going to advertise my loopback 172.16.0.0. And I'm going to advertise the tunnel interface that I have pointing towards R5 via the DMVPN cloud, which is going to be 10.10.10.19. 10, 10 and I want to match that exactly. Now, if I got my sums right, we should get a peering, which we see that we do right here. I have a peering, and if you see right behind me, it says new adjacency. Actually, you can't see the new. There it is, new adjacency. So, with that being up and running, what I need to do now is, is go ahead and I'm going to do... 20 and 21, and then we're going to check everything on R22 and ensure that we see the information that we want to see with regard to the prefixes that we're advertising. All right, so we'll cut down to 20, do the same thing, router, EIGRP, named, address family, IPv4, autonomous system 10, network 172.16.0.0, that advertises my loopback, and network 10, 10, 10, 20, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's going to advertise my tunnel interface, and I should form a new adjacency, which I do. Let's go down to 21, do the same thing. Router, EIGRP named, address family, IPv4, autonomous system 10, network 172.16.0.0 for the loopback, and network 10, 10, 10, 21, exactly for my tunnel interface and now we have an, an adjacency so if I got my sums right I should be able to reach the loopbacks on R19, 20, and 21 which is going to be 172.16.19024 172 172.16.20024 and lastly 172.16.20024 21, these should all appear on my devices in my infrastructure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at R5. So we'll cut over to R5 and let's see if we see those prefixes. Show IP route 172.16.19.0, there it is, 20.0 and 21.0. We have all of those. Let's see if we have reachability. Ping. 172.16.19.19.20.20 and 21.21. All right, so we have named mode up and running. We're learning our prefixes. They're at least visible on R5. So the ultimate test would be to see if I could actually hit a prefix all the way over on R22. Or I could go to R22 and I could ping all the way across the network to see if everything's going to go. But right now, I just want to play with these devices from R5 over to this end of my DMVPN cloud. Now, what I wanted to do is introduce a new learning scenario. So scenario one 
is I want to tag prefixes. Let me go ahead and just move that over just a little bit. Scenario one. I want to tag devices and I want to tag those devices without the use of a route map with no route dash map. Well, I have that capability as part of my enhanced EIGRP operations in named mode whereby I can go to each of these devices, R19, R20, and 21 and I can tell it that I want you to use a default tag for internal prefixes. Notice this is an external prefixes. This is going to be a tag assigned to internal prefixes. So let's take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to R19 and I'm going to type EIGRP default dash route dash tag and I'm going to tell it what tag I want to use. Well, I'm going to use a dotted decimal format. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, I want you to use tag 0, 0, 0, and let's see, we'll say 1. Now that's going to cause my link a resynchronization. Why? Because my default route tag configuration changed. Well, let's go over to 21. And let's say on 21, we'll say EIGRP default dash route dash tag 0, 0, 0, 2. And then we'll go to R21 and do the same thing, only this time we'll say EIGRP default dash route dash tag 0003. Now if I go back over here and I take a look at what's going on on R5, show IP route, and I want to look specifically at 172.16.19.0, 255, and notice right here I see a route tag of 1. Now let's look at what I see here for 20, a route tag of 2, and I should probably see a route tag of 3 for the R21 prefixes that I'm learning. So, but I said I wanted to use dotted decimal. I said I wanted to see it as dot zero or zero dot zero dot zero dot one and zero dot zero dot zero dot two and zero dot zero dot zero dot three. Well, this is referred to as my tag notation. Now what I can do is I can actually come into my system and I can tell it what notation to use. So well, let's look at this. Can I see this on R, R19 and 20? Let's look at that. So do show IP route and I wanted to see 17, 16, 19, 0. And notice I don't see anything because again, this is a connected interface. It's directly connected. So the first area where I can see the prefixes and the tags associated with them is going to be on R5. Now if I want to see these, let's go in and see what we can do here. So let's say config T. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type route dash tag and I'm going to specify my notation and what we'll see here is notice my notation gives me the option of using dotted dash decimal. So let's type that in, dotted decimal. Now, what I also want to illustrate here is now, end, let's repeat our show commands. Let's take a look at the route for 19. Notice now I see it in dotted decimal format. Try 21. Well, 20, 2, and let's try it for 21. We see it as 3. So we're now actually experiencing and seeing these be propagated in our infrastructure based on the fact that we have set these tags on their originating, originating devices using a default tag that we could, could, can configure. Required no route map in order to be able to necessitate or to make this decision with regard to being able to apply the tag. Now, it should come as no surprise that I'm going to tell you that we can use these tags just like we use the other tags that we did previously in order to be able to make decisions with regard to filtering. Now, with that said, what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see, how best to do this. I need to highlight another tool, but I'm trying to decide whether or not I need to do that in another video. Because what we have not only do I have the ability to say route dash tag and specify the notation type that I want to use, I can also use a route tag list. Now if I specify list here, 
What I do is I get the ability to give it a name. Let's just say TAG for tag. And then what I can do is I can make a ACL-like construct. So a route dash tag list is going to be something that's going to work, in, work very similar to an ACL, an access list, where I can create a relatively complex list of operational definitions to determine whether or not I'm going to filter or I'm going to pass on traffic. I can also use this, and we'll explore this later in our conversations, when I do redistribution. If and when I have named mode running. Keep in mind, this concept is only going to be able to be applied. This idea of assigning a default tag is only going to be, be able to be done if I originate the prefixes in a named EIGRP configuration. Now let's take a look at what's going on now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to R22. I'm going to go to the data center and let's see, do I have reachability to these prefixes? Let me go ahead and clear all of this out. And let's see, can I ping 172.16.19.19? Yes, I can. Can I ping 2020? 20, yes, I can. Can I ping 2121? 21, 21? Yes, I can. Can I source it from my own loopback? Source it from LO0. Uh, let's see. Uh, source. Uh, here it's going to be loopback 100, I think. Yeah. So do show run or show IP interface brief E assigned. Yep, it was 100 and 200. I'm sorry, 100 and 101. So I have all of the reachability. Now let's look at the nature of these prefixes. Show IP route 172.16. And what do I want to do? I want to look at 172.16.19.0 and notice my tag has come through. Now I was doing some experimentation on this device. Do show run include route dash tag. And what I had already done is I had done dotted decimal. So let's remove that. Route dash tag. No route dash tag. Notation. Dotted decimal. So now let's repeat that command and we'll see it in its normal form. Notice now it's coming up as one, this one will be two, this one will be three. Now with that being said, again I want to look at this in, in its actual dotted decimal format. So I'm going to say route dash tag, notation, dotted decimal, and I'll just simply repeat one of the previous, one of the previous verifications to show that it's now visible in the dotted decibel format. Now, what I want sorry about that. What I want to do at this juncture is I want to now use these tags to be able to do sorting and I want to be really selective with regard to how I can pick things and make decisions based on those determinations. So with that being said, keep in mind these tags are being propagated. We send information throughout our infrastructure in the form of our messages. So as I send my updates, I'm sending my arbitrary tag value that I've assigned. In the context of named mode operations in EIGRP, I can default, define a default tag for internal prefixes. So if we're told to assign a tag and do not use a route map to accomplish the assignment, then that's probably going to be the tool that we want to turn to. Now what I want to do is I want to focus on how we can use these tags that we've assigned by integrating the process with this route dash tag list concept to be able to pick which prefixes we're going to advertise or which prefixes we're going to filter. And I'll see you guys in that portion of the presentation, which is coming right up. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.